What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO and our recreation of the Singapore Chungyi Airport. And we have a second floor. In between uh, episodes while I was building said second floor, also uh, added a perimeter fence. It does basically go the perimeter all the way up here. Uh, we don't have that last tile. We will get there. The only thing that is not going to be fenced in is going to be kind of the center area here that's going to have the road in and out of the airport. Um, also, in between episodes, did train up the entire staff. Apparently, we still need more janitors. Uh, people are getting through security somewhat okay, but there is still a problem. People are not getting checked in, and people are not getting checked in for the same issues we've had in the past because everybody wants to shop. There is Cheers, and there's a boba place. Oh, it's the cheese tea place, that's right. Uh, unfortunately, everybody's just crammed in here and can't get checked out, and there's still a bunch of people that are floating around that want themselves some uh, cheese tea. Apparently you guys are having trouble getting through security. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come through, take out these real quick. Actually, I'm going to take out all of that. Um, I'm going to add a... Yeah, you're going to sit here. Because there is one that is operated by a, an individual. Uh, the rest are automatic. We will add in some additional ones in here to see if that uh, helps people get through a little bit easier. Not necessarily quite what I was intending to, but uh, yeah. This is a problem and I don't know what to do about that. Um, tell you what, let me... Come in here for... Oh, I don't have marketing, never mind. Uh, marketing allows 5% increased passenger spending and attracts visitors to the airport. I thought maybe that what was happening there, but apparently not. Uh, nope, we need to zone real quick, so we will zone. And we will... I said we will zone, thank you. We will international zone as well. Are we not going to international zone? Okay, it did. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and uh, I enjoy seeing you guys swinging back by to uh, check out what we're building, what we're fighting with. And uh, right now it's people leaving. But today... I do want to get uh, baggage turned on, and in order to do that, we need to also get baggage hooked up over in Terminal 2. Checking to see the uh, the progress here of planes, and it looks like it's going okay. I think adding in the uh, transition here helped out a little bit, so uh, we will kind of go with that. Terminal 2. We need to get baggage and everything hooked up in here. That's going to be a process. With this fancy, fancy, schmancy floor two, um, it is 37 across, which means the midpoint is 19, which is here. So this is our middle ground. You will notice that I do have terminal foundation on the outside here because there are doors up here and since we can't uh you know put drop off on this level only this level we need to uh have stairs from here down so stairs will live basically here obviously if we're going to do that we need to move a whole bunch of stuff in here um we'll Keep things running somewhat quickly. We're gonna cancel out of these two. We're gonna take out the rooms. And actually, hold on. Can I get rid of any of you guys? Because I will need to get rid of all these desks at some point. 
Uh, you need to go. You and, uh, you... Okay, we will do this one at a time. Bathrooms that gotta go. Well... Let's take that out. We're gonna take this entire front <laughs> stretch of, uh, walls and whatnot out. All this goes. Sorry guys, couch goes. Rest of the bathrooms go. What do we have in the way of zoning? Uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna come back somewhere like here for international zoning. Hydrox the cat says hi to everybody. Uh, I don't know, she just walked up and did a, uh, a big meow. Uh, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. Because I need to take basically the front half of this uh, terminal and you know, turn it into something more usable than what we currently have. I'm gonna do... Hmm. We're gonna pull this to say here for right now. And uh, I'm gonna do just a bunch of small security desks because this is extremely temporary until we can get security to the correct location, which is on the second floor. I'll let you guys deal with all of that. I guess we will go all the way. All the way up when it comes to speed. We will need to add a floor down here because this is where bus drop off happens. Basically, the bus is going to go underground. It's going to come in from the left. It's going to go up towards uh, Terminal 4. Three, it'll go underground, it'll drop off in Terminal 3, it'll come down here and drop off in Terminal 2. What is that? Is it just rock? Interesting. It'll drop off in Terminal 1, and then it'll come back over here into uh, Terminal 2. I assume that's a medium flight? Oh, one of the other things I did want to do is uh, add a, another vehicle depot, because I feel like we just have a ton of vehicles that are just driving around aimlessly. And maybe they probably want a place to stay. Okay, people seem to be getting processed through okay, not just lollygagging around out here. I mean, we are making a truckload of cash, don't get me wrong. I just hate that people are missing their flights because of this. Okay, we've got an exit. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take that out. We will. We have security desk. We're gonna take all of that out as well. Can't get rid of anything else. You can go. I just didn't delete it yet. Oh. Okay. Well, you go. You go. Great. Okay. This corner, something funky is going to happen. Eventually. I don't actually know, because I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. I'm going to remeasure real quick. This is... 18. Yes, 18. Okay. So, in the center, there's kind of a over... No, that's not the word I want. There is a... Uh, 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 you can see down... There we go. We'll go with that. You can see down into the lower level, there's a uh, planter area down there. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything like that. Uh, right here. I, I wish you could just take out the foundation and see down onto the first floor, but you, you can't do that. But there are elevators. There's an, ele hmm. there's an elevator there. There's another one here. Wait, wait. I get rid of no no okay i'd like to get rid of this one so if i get rid of that one then i can put the other elevator in but uh that's not going to happen but we will uh start with this elevator nonetheless 
there are obviously windows directly behind it. Uh, window there, window there. Um, you know what? You can, uh, window let's see, here and a window over here. There are glass windows that uh, look down, so we'll do that, that, and we'll add that, that. Other elevator lives right there, as you would expect. Give me, some, give me some palms. Oh, actually, hold on. Give me the bigger. There's bigger palms, right? Yes. Big palm there. Um, bananas there. Other ones there, and then we'll grab some good old-fashioned ferns, and you guys will live there. So that'll take care of kind of the planter area. Then there is kind of slow things down a little bit. There's a door that lives there. There's a door that lives there. They are top and bottom, so we will put them in the same locations. Uh, In case you're keeping track, that is uh, door four and door five. If you did want to follow along, I don't know how invested you are, but uh, the Chengai Airport, sorry, Chengyi Airport uh, dot com, and then you just click on the maps and you'll be able to take a look at uh, the different maps here. And you can see what we're kind of working on. No, here's delayed. All right. Um, tell you what, I just no grab that, drop it down there. All right, so we got our we got our plants in there. We got doors in there. I'm gonna just run a wall all the way over here. And a wall all the way over here. I need to de-zone things. So we will do that, and things are good. People are going through security. People are coming out of security. You guys are going to wherever you need to go. I wait. Wait. Okay. At some point, we're going to need to uh, actually. Ooh. Oh, OK, that's probably also really bad. Uh, what are we at? Half a mil. Why don't you uh, why don't you take those out? I'm going to pause for a minute. Because boarding desks are going to be something we kind of need. And now we just suddenly took them all out. OK. There is an escalator that obviously goes up from downstairs to here. We can get our other elevator in that lives right there. I guess we can get our post and our window there and there. And escalator here. Okay. E. I don't know if I like it there. I like it there. It just it it sits. Mm. No. <laughs> We're gonna bump that back one square. Cause I am gonna want a uh, wall that around. So wall there, wall there. Uh, wall there. Sure. I'm okay. It does look down to, again, a, uh... I don't know what I want to call that. It's basically like a, a loft that goes from the second floor down to the first floor. And we will just kind of come around. Like so. Okay, 
next to the escalators. If you're keeping track at home, you have another door. Uh, we're going to slide it over a little bit because there's the escalators there. You have entrance six. Oh, wait, we're on the lower level. On the lower level, it's door six and door three. On this floor, it's uh, entrance six and entrance three. I don't know why the verbiage is different. Nobody asks. And then there's a another scenic look downstairs. Suddenly, thoughts are running in my head as to what I want to do. Hmm. I forgot there's a little space in between here. I might tweak these doors down the road. We will see. Um, six. There's seven, eight. So, seven, eight. There's a Starbucks on this corner. There's bathrooms. There's an elevator. There is a... ATM? Nope, it's a GST refund. So it's your goods and service tax refund. And then it takes you out to the parking garage that's over on this side. There's a second parking garage that lives on this side. We are not going to have that parking garage because there's no space. So if you're a fan of parking garages, unfortunately not going to be something we can do. So door three, door two, door one. After door one, there is a Jones the Grocer. There's a bathroom and then there's, we're going to tweak this corner ever so slightly. There's an elevator that's going to take you down. That takes you down to doot, doot, here. For the city train and there's basically a tunnel that connects terminal 2 here to terminal 3 over here and uh, you can get the metro line from there but that's nope let's get our doors in place here and here okay Ah, uh, you know, I'm going to do it. If you're going to do the thing, do the thing properly, right? So there is a very small vestibule in between each of the... No, that is one. In between each of the doors. So we will come through real quick. We will add them. Uh, I didn't put doors down over here, did I? No. And there and there. You are okay. No, not there. Over here. Uh, eventually, when I get a uh, another floor out there, I will add. And then I'm just going to do a wall next to it on either side. And again, it's just to kind of uh, keep things from, keep you from air conditioning the, uh, the entire Singapore countryside. We'll take out the middle space. You don't have the, uh, well, you probably have rain to deal with. You don't have the snow that you might be tracking through as we had in, like, Chicago or Pittsburgh or Philly. That's not where I meant to go. There we go. Okay.
Let's try and figure out the rest. Directly opposite the elevators, there is a hallway that has a couple elevators that take you from this floor to the third floor, which has a bunch of shops on it. Both secure and unsecure, that third floor is split. Uh, it also... The map doesn't show it. But I don't think it goes all the way to the bus stops on the basement. The question is, where are we putting it? Uh, what is, let's just slide over here real quick. What is this? That's 11. That is a lot of people still trying to get through security. So conceivably here is a decent spot. Am I okay with that? Uh, where's the elevators? There. So if we do that and uh, let's take it back there and there the middle section here is going to be check-in rows there are 12 of them there's one two three four five is on its own six seven is on its own eight is on its own then nine ten are kind of together on a pad and 11 and 12. there's a hallway that takes you left out to the parking garage there's another one that takes you to the theoretical right-hand parking garage. Um, just want to take a look to see how we did uh, this. That's nine, if I recall, correct? No, that's not actually what I wanted. What, 9 by 17? That's not bad. Four, eight, nine. Centered? Okay, that I think we can get away with. Okay. Because there's immigration and security on both sides, and then shops. And it shops all the way to this wall. So maybe we come down a little bit more, since we do have the space for it. So let's... Hmm. Hmm. Baggage. I, I'm trying to, uh, trying to plan things on the fly here. Yeah, baggage is going to have to go up. Don't know where it's going from there. It's going to go left. And then down and... So yeah, it's going to go to the third floor that doesn't exist. It's going to come over to the left. It's going to go down here. It's going to go down here. It's going to go down here. And in fact, it's going to have to go down one more to go over because there's the buses that go here. So it's going to have to come down here, back up to here where we're going to do two separate baggage bays, one for E, one for F. Hopefully you guys are remembering that because I guarantee you I will not. We're going to go here. Make a decision. Wall, wall. 
kind of little hallway that lives, I guess, to here, I guess. Why not? And uh, we'll take it back like that. I don't even know what floor I'm on anymore. Two, one, okay. That goes to three, doesn't it? So the elevators don't actually go onto this floor. We need to go up one. I'm gonna do that for no other reason than to uh, get the elevators to go up. On the first floor, baggage is on either side of this set of elevators, but they don't access this floor. Okay. In front, there is a set of escalators on either side, as well as bathrooms. So we're going to do escalators. They go up to a non-existent floor. It's going to live here and over here. So these walls need to kind of come out a little bit more, come out to there. I really need this floor, actually, don't I? Uh, let's do that, do that. Uh, this is an interior, so we don't even need walls, right? Uh, I think I need another set of terminal foundation up here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run. The section up in the front here overlooks the baggage area. It's just a very large, I guess, atrium might be a good fit there. We'll go with atrium. Seems like a reasonable word to use. Uh, what's the... Where did we go wrong? Can't pass through security, huh? Is it just because there's a lot of you and uh, not enough security desks? I, I could understand that. I mean, there's also no check-in desks over here, so they're uh, being done on the other... Uh, <laughs> on the other terminal, I would imagine, over in Terminal 4. Give me the escalators, because I just want to get the escalators in. One there. One there. Wall. Wall. Security. Security. Okay, let's pause for a second. I'm going to do something interesting here. There's a wall that kind of comes... Like this... And over here as well. I don't have a good way to represent this. So I'm going to just fill it in with uh, some blue carpet. In front of this area, this wall right here. Uh, this wall doesn't come fully out. It's just kind of a hallway, if you will. But on that wall is what's called the Wonderfall. It is a digital waterfall that cascades among lush green walls to create a mesmerizing, calming spectacular. Uh, from what I've read, it is a four-story digital wall of just a giant waterfall. And uh, it looks absolutely amazing. And so, uh, and then there's a little plants underneath it. There's plants to the side. Uh, we could probably add some of the greenery in. So give me some ferns. So it's kind of ferned all the way, not there, around. And then the, uh, the screen lives in the center here. I will, uh, see if we can get some pictures if it, it's not already on the screen um but it's just 
absolutely amazing looking. And then you can just walk underneath to uh, the elevators there to uh, take you up to the next floor. Although it does say exit, so it might take you down to the buses too. I'm probably going to do that just for uh, access ease. But we've got the Wonder Wall represented here in the, uh, the center area. Hopefully that will... Uh, be something that we can uh, remember going forward. Uh, let's continue left and right. So there are shops on either side, over here and over here. There are a ton of shops in the middle here, and we will discuss that somewhere down the road. But we need to do some security. I'm going to use that wall. And we will get through here. Along over here and over here. There is an escalator that takes you down that way. So we're going to have to come up a little bit there. Actually, we could just do that all the way across now that I'm thinking about it. So escalator down. Right there. Sure. And one on the opposite side assuming i can actually get this in the correct place there uh wall wall oh hold on Okay, yeah, that's correct. I was... <laughs> I forgot which floor I was on. Wall, wall. You come down here. Wall, wall. You can go away. Secure. International. There are two elevators nearby as well. Part of me wants to put it here. The problem is, whenever you get down a floor, kind of open. You basically go in one side, you come out the other side. So we will do this. And we will do the same thing on this side again, assuming I can remember where I put it. There. Two squares in between, perfect. So you like that. And same thing. Um, you need to be connected because we're on the bottom floor and you need to be connected here as well. So that needs to go across. This floor, nope, we'll do there. And same thing on the other side. This will be more applicable once we get the uh, E section in. You come down here. And you pass through security, which then takes you into where baggage is. The reason why I'm messing around with that right now is because baggage sits basically on the right and left of these elevator banks. Um, we're going to do that. Are there bathrooms on the next floor in this location? No. 
there's some on the third floor, there's some on the first floor, there's some on the basement where the uh, buses are. Basically, bathrooms are going to sit here and here, and it's going to be just identical on all floors. Okay. This floor. I don't have staff, which fine. Um, baggage belts are gonna live. I really wish this was up a floor because then I can measure better. But uh, the exits. Oh, I can't even do exits either. Oh, this is. This is becoming a bigger headache than I thought it was going to. Okay, let's take this a step at a time. Because I'm going to have to do check-ins before I do anything else. And then we will... Oh, I was... The whole reason why I was doing this was to get security in here. That's right. <laughs> okay. Security. Lovely. You're all secure. You have to go through security before you go into the passport check. Or at least that's what airport CEO makes us do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Uh, we're leaving the central area open a little bit because it looks like there's offices or something that'll probably end up being a break room there. We're gonna do a large security. Um, set back a little bit. There are bathrooms right here. So, I think I'm going to bump them this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's also a small shop, and by small shop, I mean it's a very small shop that I don't think we're going to get in. It, it's so small, it doesn't even give me a description of what it is. Okay. Well, fine then. We're going to come over to here. We're going to come down to like that and that. We will dezone that and probably dezone over here too. Okay. Didn't want to put in bathrooms right now, but we're going to put bathrooms in right now. Uh, privacy wall here. I'm just going to copy paste these to the other side. I think I just agree. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to copy paste all of this. Over here. And that chews into a little bit of the space, but we still should be okay. Take out that. We're going to come down here. Not there. Here. Uh, there are several shops in this area, so I'm not overly concerned with uh, that, but give me a large one, and let's go ahead and let things get built, because I want to manipulate, uh, I want to get the uh, 
Q's in. Oh, the game's not going to be happy here in a minute. Yeah, the quicker you guys can get this in, the faster I can get everything else done. Perfect. Give me a Q. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, large. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's four over here for ten stands. Uh, I think we're going to need to do three and three. Two, three, one, two, three. I think that will be okay. Uh, what's on the, which side am I on? There we go. Uh, this wall comes basically to about here. There's a little diagonal. And it kind of comes over here. There are shops. And basically, uh, airport, whatever, back here. And then it takes you over to the parking garage. This is going to come down further, say, there. This is going to go there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side to there. What's on the other side of security over there? There is a lounge over here. Along with a couple shops, I'm just going to do a little bit of a diagonal. And then you end up over at the other parking garage, which just not going to exist. So now we need to deal with international. So all of this is going to be international. Uh, we're going to take this up to here. We will take it up to here. We'll do a manned checkpoint over on the side here. Right, we'll do two. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And then we will do automate the rest of the way. No, that way. That way? That way. Oh, money's a problem. And yes, I realize, still have not added any check-in desks yet. I don't really know if I want to do this many. Let's space them out a little bit, shall we? I don't know if we're going to need that many. Worst case scenario, we can take them out and re-add them back in. We have that ability. Oh. I don't like the fact that there's an international square there. I will fix that. Uh, you need to be international. Actually, all of those should be international now that I'm looking dead down at that one. Uh, give me copy, give me paste, grab me all of this. And all of that goes over here as well. Give me two walls, there we go. We've got security kind of squared away. Uh, I'm going to leave the stairs for right now, but everybody seems to be just going straight down the escalator down here to uh, get uh, out of the airport. We can get rid of all this security. 
and force everybody to go through brand new security up top. I don't know. Oh, you guys are struggling with pathing. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. But we got people going through security now. We've got bathrooms up here. And we've got our uh, waterfall wall. I'm just going to carpet this. Make it look a little bit nicer. And we've got people stuck behind walls. This seems like it's an okay place to leave it. Next time we are going to work on the check-in rows. And see if we can get that all squared away. And uh, then we will tackle baggage. So check-ins next time. Baggage after that. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Bye.